We filled this balloon with 10 whole cylinders of hydrogen gas. We are back at the ranch and super excited because it is a beautiful day. No wind. The weather is great. The sun no is high in the sky and really blinding. Don't look at the sun. But we've got our new hydrogen tanks. We've got 10 tanks now and it should be enough to lift us up to get moon jump type scenarios. One balloon. Uh, that is the one big difference. Instead of doing 170 balloons, we've got just one. All right, we've got the balloon here. It is a ridiculously massive balloon. This thing is supposed to be 28 feet in diameter at burst. We're not filling up that much, but we've got to be very careful at this point. It'll be nice to this. We're going to have to make sure we get no rips in it or tears or anything because even one little hole could ruin our entire test. So we made this adapters just out of PVC. We're just going to put this on it so that way we can easily um, switch tanks because when we're filling up, we don't want to have to take the balloon off and on each tank. Many of you might be wondering why we have this net over the balloon. And the simple reason is that the balloon itself isn't strong enough. Now, when I say isn't strong enough, I mean that the balloon, when we fill it full of hydrogen, is going to be pulling upward about 210 pounds. And the not, or latex that it's made out of right there at the base would shred under those forces. And so we've thrown this net over the top of the balloon so that as it's pulling up, we can pull down on the net and take the force through this netting instead. It's up. We have filled the balloon with seven cylinders of hydrogen this far. We have three more to go. We're about to do a quick check to see how much it actually is pulling up. But see it's more than it? a little. It's substantial. It, it's good. It's, it's, it's doing really good. Oh, 83 pounds. That's quite less a bit. Than it's we less than we'd hoped. Let's keep going. If we were to just get a balloon and have it pulling overhead, and we tried to jump with that, we wouldn't really be able to get what would feel like on the moon. Because as we jump, we take up some of the tension from the lines and then the balloon would move up after the fact because the balloon has a lot of inertia. With the bungee cords here, we can compensate for that inertia. And so that way the balloon is pulling up the whole entire time and it stretches these bungee cords. And so when I jump, instead of the balloon having to move, the bungees contract. And now the inertia from the balloon is taken out of the equation completely. And it leaves me with just the straight force as though I were on the moon. All 10 cylinders in the balloon, it is, it's hard massive. to say how big this is, but it's big. We're gonna measure out the diameter in just one second, but first we wanna figure out how much it's actually pulling. So I'm yep. gonna help him zero it out. Go ahead, you can go. Great. The glove, so you don't scratch up the bumper. Okay. All right, going up. And the numbers are 200. No. Or sorry, 128 pounds. All right, we've got everything ready. We've got a balloon pulling at 130 pounds. We've got 30 feet of bungees and a harness. And we're ready to moonwalk. So let's buckle up and not die. <laughs> All the lines are untangled, not around people's ankles. Yep. <clears throat> Get ready? Okay. Ready, Kyler? Sure. Three, two, one, go. Okay. You got it? I got here. Here it Okay. Get ready. Tyler? It's about to go all on you, Tyler. Uh, turn sure. Around. Turn yeah. around. Turn around. Yeah. Oh, boy. We're all attached. Uh, and I'm roped up to it. And it feels nuts. I haven't tried to jump yet. So this will be the first jump. Let's start with just like baby hops. You ready? Oh boy. Oh boy! 
like you're in Face. Am I okay? You got cut on your eyebrow. You good? Oh my face. Am I okay? You got cut on your eyebrow. You good? Yeah. <laughs>